how we are. Okay. I'd like to call to order the March 2021 Public Art Committee meeting. We are meeting electronically pursuant to Executive Order 72 issued by Governor Bill Lee. This board is not meeting in a physical location in order to protect public health, safety, and welfare. This meeting is being recorded and will be available to the public via the city's YouTube page accessible at johnsoncitytn.org slash meetings, no later than two business days from the date of today's meeting. All right, we're ready to go here. Um, Angeletti, go ahead. Okay, um, creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes. Art is knowing which ones to keep. Scott Adams. Good one. Um, okay, um, we'll do two more points of business um, and then we'll get to the least art selections. Um, so we wanna, I need to uh, get an approval of the minutes from the February meeting. Did everyone get a chance to read those? Uh, any corrections? Okay, uh, then I need a motion to accept. I'll make a motion. Okay, and second. I'll second. Okay, thank you. Um, all in favor? Say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, thank you on that. Uh, and then also the treasurer uh, report. Sarah, have you got a figure for us? I do. Um, Nancy Campbell, I just realized that um, the email I got was an old, uh, it was from November, the document. So I'm going to have to report what was last month, which is $52,428.85. But we did have um, two donations come in, uh, 16000 additional. Oh. Great. Two did not count the 15. That again. Sarah, I asked um, Mr. Sandu if that was November was the correct one. He never answered me. He just sent me the 16,000. Um, so I'm just assuming that was the correct amount. Okay. Um, but I can check with him. Okay. Yeah, that'd be okay. good. Thank All you. Right. If you could include the current figure in the minutes for us, Nancy, that would be great. Okay. All right, um, we're gonna go ahead and um, do the um, do the least art discussion. Um, Jason, are you, are you there? Jason. <laughs> Sorry about that. Has he? Hey, Kelly. Hi. Jason, where'd you go? There he is. Okay. This is, um, unmute yourself, please, Jason. Yeah, you're still muted, Jason. Okay, sorry about that, everyone. Um, Thank you. This is, this is Jason Brown. He's this year's juror. Uh, he's from Hello. Tennessee. And um, we're just gonna go over his list of choices and then, um, then we can have a discussion amongst ourselves um, about his choices. So um, go ahead, Jason. Great, thank you. Uh, it's great to meet everyone, at least see your faces and uh, the conversation. I really appreciate and I'm honored with the opportunity to be juror. So thank you so much for asking me to do this. It's, um, it's never, uh, a simple task, and this was um, quite challenging given the number of entries, which I was really excited that we had so many things to choose from. Um, so it was, it's a good problem to have. Um, I tried my best to narrow it down, uh, kind of went through a few rounds, um, primarily using um, aesthetic criteria initially, trying to, as I tried to cut the list, from 50 down to 15, um, started thinking more as a curator and trying to find works that, even though they're not gonna be close in proximity to each other, um, I know they'll be spread out over the city, um, have some kind of 
dialogue with each other. Um, so I was looking at, uh, as I started to look in more detail and, and make those final decisions, um, looked a little bit more in detail at each artist's biography, um, their experience, their career, some of their other works maybe beyond even what they'd submitted um, for this exhibition. So I think that that can be interesting and relevant information. Um, so I have a list of 15 and I'll just share those with you. I think probably a lot of you have already looked at these um, given the, the Google Drive. Thank you, Cheyenne, for assembling all of this information. It made my job much easier. Um, and I'll just go ahead and go through each image. They're in no particular order. I didn't rank these 15. I did rank the alternate list, which we can look at after we, we look at these. Uh, so they just kind of came up in order of, I, they were alphabetized by uh, Google Slides. So this is a uh, artist, Dylan Mortimer, and the piece is entitled Prayer Booth. Um, Dylan is an artist uh, based in Westwood Hills, Kansas, um, that has a pretty interesting, as I don't know, uh, I didn't know anything about this artist prior to selecting this piece. Um, it is a bit of an outlier. I think it, it looks considerably different than a lot of the other uh, more abstract and non-objective works, but it is it caught my attention as being a really uh, possible curious point of conversation and community dialogue. Um, it, the, the one hesitation I have is that the piece, as I looked at the more information, um, is that it it's not recent. Um, the artist seems to be making more gallery-based work, but um, it's a condition, then it doesn't matter that I'm not aware of. It, it's okay with me that it was made uh, um, probably 15 years ago. So... I don't know how much it's been exhibited. Um, this is probably also the one I didn't. I didn't feel like the selections. I mean, we all have different opinions, and I'd love to hear some of yours um, about the works in this top fifteen. But this might be the one piece that could generate some controversy. I'm not sure yeah. necessarily. Um, I think it's probably. You know, I didn't feel like any really, and we were looking at anything in the over 100 artworks um, that I reviewed that was really what I could we consider controversial. But um, this is uh, maybe atypical or <laughs> a little bit out of the ordinary in terms of door sculpture in that it's more architectural. Um, I do have some questions, I guess, in terms of placement and it would need to be in the right location. Um, I'll be visiting Johnson City in a couple of weeks so that we can start to try to find ideal locations for these pieces. Um, but it doesn't you know, appear that it would be, I mean, it would probably fit on two concrete pads if we needed to do that. Um, but I also am open to your feedback and expect expertise on questions of public safety, liability. Those are all considerations that certainly could but make adjustments on this list of 15. Uh, so Ben Pierce, uh, the piece is titled Keep It Together. Ben is an artist from Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Um, this is Ruth Isis Migdal and the piece is titled Here. And, and there were a number of bright red uh, sculptures. <laughs> To choose yeah. from, and so you know, I, I wanted to be mindful that we didn't have too many um, brightly colored or bright red specifically sculptures. But I was really um, impressed with this piece, and I think as you move around it, it will be quite dynamic. Um, I also think it's notable that Ruth, um, in in her statement, she wrote some really um, compelling um, text about her background as an artist, um, her work with um, feminism and the women's rights movements over the years. Um, Ruth is 89 years old and is, I, I can only hope that I will be this active as a practicing 
know, but still 89. But um, Ruth also wrote some really, I thought, meaningful comments about her enthusiasm for participating in Johnson City in East Tennessee. Hmm. Um, this is a sculpture by Jeremy Colbert, who's based in Lexington, Kentucky. It's called Minko. Now this is a detail. I didn't, there were other images we can go back and look at if you'd like. Um, I believe the piece is about 15 feet tall. Um, and I, I do know Jeremy um, through our work together in the cast iron community. Um, and he's a fantastic artist and I think would be a, a good addition to the show. Um, this artist, Charles Pilkey, Enigma. Charles is based out of Mint Hill, North Carolina. My understanding this piece is currently in Chicago. Um, I, I'm not, I was not familiar with Charles's work um, prior to this review, but I thought that the, there were a lot of curious elements in scale shift between the large formal cube, but then all of these little miniature um, figures and architectural elements and little trees. I thought that could be a really fascinating piece for both kids and adults to, to get up close to and look at. Um, Isaac Duncan III, this piece is called Threaded, it's stainless steel. Isaac is based out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And I, I do know Isaac through the Mid-South Sculpture Alliance. Um, Isaac's work is in several collections uh, around the United States and in Canada. And Isaac is also very active on the um, board of the sculpture fields. Um, Chattanooga and who's recently um, joined the board of the International Sculpture Center. And I think Isaac would be a great addition. He's also, I, another thing that I think, you know, I was, I don't, I don't know this in all cases. Um, the artists that I have had professional um, working relationships with, I think it's, it's always good to know that people will be reliable. And some of the materials I think in the submissions reflected certain levels of professionalism. Um, I also was tried to be careful that this was not an exhibition of uh, all people that I know. I don't, I don't want to um, give the impression that there's some kind of favoritism. Um, Roger Halligan, um, this is a new sculpture called Strong Winds. Um, Roger was based in Chattanooga and has relocated to Lake City, Tennessee, or South Carolina. Uh, um, um, Richard Herzog, Invasive Species. Richard is based in Athens, Georgia. Uh, my only questions for this would be more along the lines of public safety, um, yeah. you know, because it is one of these pieces that would tempt most kids to climb. Um, so that's something we might need to be really careful about site selection or uh, I do, I, I'm pretty sure this piece has been in other outdoor sculpture exhibitions in urban spaces, um, even though this photograph is taken more in a, a grassy situation or site. Um, I think, you know, it's good to have a mix of pieces that have kind of either anthropomorphic or biomorphic forms. And I like this insect like creature. Um, so kind of maybe somewhere in between an insect and humanoid form. Um, this is a young artist, Deanna Hoffman from uh, Jackson, Missouri. I, if my understanding is correct, Deanna is just kind of uh, getting started in her career. And I think this piece has been in a couple of outdoor exhibitions. Um, has a very rich patina on the surface. Uh, Martha Mark line Hopkins, this is called Wave, and Martha is based out of Fairhope, Alabama. Um, I think, that, you know, my interest in this piece was really just in terms of the, the pure, purely formal aspects of the sense of movement 
um, of the forms through space. I will say that of the 15 artists uh, um, in the, if we make adjustments to the list, I would really advocate for not making substitutions that would eliminate any of those five women from the list because it's really important to me that we have as much gender balance as possible. We're not quite, you know, we're not there at 50-50, but I think five out of 15 is, is pretty good considering um, the, the typical submissions that are in the field of outdoor sculpture. Um, Andrew Marsh, Memento Rosa. Uh, Andrew is in, based in Louisville, Kentucky and this piece I believe is currently in Oxford, Mississippi. I only know that because it popped up on Instagram a couple days ago um, as a part of the Yokna sculpture trails or sculpture tour. Um, I, again, this piece I think would be fine um, in terms of public safety. There are some sh you know, pieces that look sharp, but I, Andrew is quite experienced and I've um, actually worked with him on installing some things here for the Dogwood Arts um, Festival outdoor sculpture exhibition. And I, I think he's, you know, he, he wouldn't put something that's dangerous out in the public. Um, Larry Millard of Athens, Georgia. This is called Alert. Um, it has kind of an odd finish on the, or an unusual finish, I should say, on the steel frame. But Larry's work is very much, in, um, takes inspiration from architecture. And so it has sort of like multiple cages or architectural building forms, one inside of the other. And I believe he has coated the steel frame with um, <clears throat> uh, Nathan Pierce. This is called Lost Signals. Nathan is uh, an Atlanta based artist. And Nathan had several brightly colored pieces that I was, I was really quite torn. So, I mean, I, I think all of his work is quite strong. I have an affinity for these kind of forms that he's using in this uh, sculpture with the communication um, towers and satellite dishes and so forth. Uh, his other pieces are much more brightly colored like yellow and, and red and green. Um, Mary Rudin, Tangent Circles. Uh, Mary is an artist from Seymour, Tennessee, which is just down the road from me here in Knoxville. And I don't actually know Mary, but I, um, I know that she's had work in the Dogwood Arts Festival here. And um, in the region. Um, and finally, Joni Youngkin's Her Herzog, um, Dancing Bliss. And Joni, Joni is actually partner to Rick Richard, so they're both based out of Athens. But um, I really thought this was maybe one of my favorite pieces in the whole grouping. I really love the implied movement of the figures or figure moving through space. Uh, it was hard to make a decision on with Johnny's work because so much she has so many good pieces. Um, I, I really do like the floral ones that are brightly colored kind of, but I, I think this might be a bit more durable. I, I think, um, I don't know. I'd love to get people's opinion on that. I don't, I don't know if we wanna look at the alternate list, Nancy, or we wanna just open this up to. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do the alternate as, as well. Yeah. Well, okay, do, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, should we do that? Or do you, do you have questions about this, any of these choices? Yeah, let's go through them all. Let's see. Yeah. We'll okay. Um, so let's see. I did. I did put these in a ranked order. Um, actually, but they're not. Uh, let me let me show them to you in the order that I've ranked them on the list. So Richard Pitts, Orange Peel. Yeah. Um, Apologies, I didn't rearrange these. Uh, Mike Hansel, split decision. Chris Playstead, Harbinger. Uh, 
Um, oops. Okay. And then Peter Dellert, Scarlet Entry. So those would be like the, in that order, I would recommend anyway, um, five alternates. I, I had these other three, but I have some questions about um, as much as I would like this. I don't know. I mean, it seems like this artist, um, Anthony May, has created several wood sculptures based on trees that are already uh, like dead standing. I mean, maybe he moves them around to different locations. Um, this piece um, by Matthias Newman, I thought these were fantastic. There were several different configurations. I wasn't sure if this would, if we would have a site that would work for this. Uh, I also had some questions about how tempting these might be for people to climb and if that was gonna be an issue. Yeah. And then uh, finally, Parme's work in, um, but Nancy might have some more information on yeah, how this, this is probably out of off the list now. Yeah. Yeah, this guy was not pleased with our stipend. So um, So he he would expect to be paid more money. Is that yeah. is that the short yeah. answer? Okay. Um so why don't I go back to these? Um and I'd love to hear any feedback from anyone on the committee or if you have questions. Concerns. It's interesting. We've had um, Pilkey. We've had uh, the last two years. We've had piece of his. Um, yeah, and his. I love his work with his with the figures, the little figures on it. Uh, okay. And who else? Halligan also. I think and he's donated a piece to us. Okay. His work. Um, so we're familiar with with both of those folks. I think um, Mary Rudin, we may have had a piece of hers at one time uh, in the past. Um, but the rest of these folks are, are pretty new to us. Um, Is it if so. you've had if you've had work by that by these three artists, w would it be I mean, would, would that be a factor in? No, not in our choice. No, if people agree. Okay. Um, yeah, because we've had several artists that we've had repeats from. Right. Um, which is fine. I think as long as, you know, the committee agrees on the piece. Um, yeah, that's not a problem. Sorry about that. Jason, my, um, as I was reviewing them, um, mm -hmm. Uh, incidentally, I mean, I think the selection that you've you've presented here is a really strong, uh, great collection. I'm look, looking forward to discussing where you know, oh, where thanks. actually go. My my um, you already signaled as I was reviewing the one piece that I am uncertain about, and it's it's not actually on the merits of the work itself, but on its reception uh -huh. in the community is the prayer booth. Right, and, and I'm really I'm 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 not sure how knowing the makeup demographically, um, religiously of our community here, this is the one that I, um, I'm i wary about. Okay, I absolutely understand that. I mean, I, I did, as, as you probably did also look at the statement from the artist about the, I mean, he, he made a point of saying, this is not, you know, a, any denominational statement or, you know, it's, um, if anything, maybe, I don't, I, he's interested in, in this intersection, right, between sacred and secular. So, um, I mean, it does call to mind certain faiths that might be, have the ritual of kneeling, right, for prayer. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a tough one. I mean, it, it could be seen as uh, with, I could, I, I could, I could imagine people having an enthusiastic response to it, and ha and also being offended somehow. Um, yeah, that's what I would worry about too. That we were making fun of. Yeah, for me, that was the main concern for me, Jason, is that it's mm -hmm. formally evoking a payphone, right. right? In its in its choice of color palette, in the in the 
way that the, the booth is kind of formed aside from the kneeling. So that was my concern is like the, I get it's kind of the notion that prayer is a form of communication, right? The communication is not with another human being, it's with, right, the divine. So I, I get the metaphor, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm, I'm curious whether the public will receive it in that way and not see it as in some way cheapening or criticizing in some way their faith. So that's, right. that's one of my concerns that I have. Well, um, should we, um, should we go ahead and, and um, release Jason <laughs> from his time here? Does anybody have any other questions for Jason over any of these other pieces? Um, and then we can go ahead and, and discuss them amongst ourselves if that's, if that's what people want to do. No questions, but thank you for such great selections. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I look forward to continuing to work with the committee and everyone um, in the next months ahead as these works get installed. And as I was talking with Nancy and Cheyenne before the call started, I mean, it would be great to um, do some walking tours. I think that's the tradition as I understand yeah. it, which I, I think is really fantastic um, and actually somewhat unusual uh, for outdoor sculpture exhibitions. Mm. Um, so I'm happy to do, you know, any, anything that you guys need me to do. And um, again, I know that you have a lot of factors and considerations. So I, you know, I'll be happy to see whatever the new list configuration is. Um, I welcome substitutions. I have no real, um, you know, there's, I, I have no, um, I'll put my ego aside or whatever. Okay, that's great for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we, you know, some of the things we'll consider um, also is is um, the and you and uh, uh, Jason's offered to come in um, next week, uh, either Tuesday or Thursday uh, or the or April first, and take a look at the sites and help us uh, place these pieces. So if anyone's interested in, in participating with that, I'll get you know get you additional. I'll get you the information of when he's going to be here. Um, so, but, you know, there are things to consider is, you know, what we think is going to be safe, whether we think that the sculpture may, you know, suffer damage because of location and public, uh, participation. So, um, so, okay. Are they, are they going to be at a walkable distance from each other? They're mostly in Founders Park. Um, okay. but we have several outliers. We have several places that you you won't be able to walk to um gotcha. so um yeah but most of them will be around the the um the founders park area in downtown uh, well, i know on the local view side we love to when they're installed and even maybe capturing the installation of some of them as well we can oh, put sure. together a, a package like we did for um uh, dos Okay, that'd be and great. And maybe even do some sort of scavenger hunt through our social media that gives you, you know, clues about the artist, give you a tip to where the next one to go kind of on a tour to take. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah. Yeah, we've, uh, we've usually called the media when we're doing installation work and, and some of the, some of the installations have actually been recorded. So, so Liz, that would be great if you could participate in that. Um, Absolutely. Most of, the, most of the installation will be done the last two weeks of May. And Cheyenne will set up a schedule for, for when the artists um, will be coming in to do that. So we can give you um, a heads up when, when each of the pieces are going to be installed. Awesome. Jason, uh, yes. make sure the second, uh, the alternate list, you do have ranked, uh, you rank them all. Um, Correct. Okay. Um, so let me just double check that the right file is here um, under top 15 in the Google folder. Um, yes, these are in, I, I uploaded a new version, I think yesterday. So this says alternate seven ranked. Um, and I, one other thing before I go, I would just say, and I don't wanna make more work for all of you, but if you, um, if for instance, um, you had some reservations about one of these artists, it might be worth looking at um, 
some of that. Now, in, in several cases, they only submitted one piece. So an artist like Johnny Yunkins um, has multiple things to choose from. And like, as I said, I had a hard time deciding, but if for instance, there was concern about this piece that I had put on the top 15, I would encourage you to look maybe at another one of her submissions before moving down the list. Now, in the case of the prayer booth, I'm pretty sure I can double check, but I'm pretty sure that he only submitted the one. So if, if you decide to eliminate that piece, then I guess you know what to do. <laughs> Move to the alternate list at that point, so. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. The selection is amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Thanks, Jason. Bye, Jason. Okay. We'll get back Bye. in touch. Thank yeah. You. Okay, thanks again. Okay. Well, okay, now we need to go through and, and figure out um, which ones we want to keep and which ones we have problems with. Um, so I'm going to just open it up to you guys. Do we want to go through the photo, photo by photo again? Are there, are there works that, that folks really feel strongly about that aren't on the list? Like something you really loved that you maybe want everybody to consider? Cheyenne and I went through, a, went through the list uh, twice and we're not convinced. We have some reservations about some of them. And so we actually picked out about uh, what ended up to be about 15. Do we have pictures of those. We do. I can share those now. And, and what I think would be uh, pretty decent to do would be go through the list that he presents after you kind of see some of the ones we picked out. And then um, we'll keep what we all kind of agree on and then we can look at other ones. But these other ones might be of enough stimulation um, to, um, there we go. consider. So, so can you start over again? We, we lost you there for a while. Um, Cheyenne and I went through the list this morning and we're going to show you our uh, list that we came up with that could be considered as replacements. If we choose to replace anything from his list. So let me go through that fairly quick, just to let you see the ones that we think might be dynamic enough. So Cheyenne, let's go through those. Okay. These top ones he had already they, selected, so. Yeah, these, the, these, go, these. Go, people, go slower so I can mark which, march the, mark these, if you okay. don't mind. Um, so yeah. this is, he had this one. Which one? This is Pierce's? Ben Pierce? Uh-huh. Okay. And then that's uh, Ruth. Ruth, uh-huh. Okay, what's the next one? And oh, that's Pilko. Pilkey. Okay. And that's um, Threaded, Duncan. All right. This is one he didn't pick. I think this has a lot of, uh, I think the kids would love this one. Kind of, it's got a lot of color to it, and I think it'd be a nice exhibition. This one brings me so much joy, I just have to say. I see this and I smile, and it makes me so happy. I, I, I love this one. Is that a pretty big piece, Sarah? I think it's fairly large. Looks like it's about eight feet tall. Okay, next one. <clears throat> I love these owls. Uh, this one had a lot of, um, I thought this one had some, just a lot of intricate design to it for an owl. I have seen this one in person. She lives near me and was working on it outside of her house. Really? This is one of the most Instagrammable things that we could possibly put downtown. Like all I wanted to do was take a selfie with it. And her neighbors, 
she had like people that would walk by every day to like check on her progress. Hmm. I think this would be an excellent selection. And she's she's very local, so that's that's yeah, good. she lives right near downtown. Okay. Huh. <laughs> this one had some um, had some color to it. I really don't want to get down to where we're just putting these uh, the metal stuff with no color. This had a little bit of color to it. Okay, is this this is the same guy that did the invasive species one? Yeah, this is Herzog. Okay. Okay. We did like that one. He he okay. picked that one out. Yep. Okay. I think this would be wonderful in that little plaza in front of the library there next to the playground. I think that is a you know no. it's got the library, the books, what the hell. It, overlooking King Commons. I think that would be a great location for this piece of work. So two questions. One is what's the scale on that? Um, I'm, I'd be very concerned with this sculpture getting lost in such a large space. I mean, that pad is pretty large that you've had laid there. And it second, is. It's, it's a little redundant from my view to have two owls in mm -hmm. your collection. Okay. I do like the first one. Okay. I really like the first one. The pictures don't do the first one justice. Honestly, it's really it's really very beautiful in person. Okay. Uh, this one doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Um, <laughs> this one had color and it was intricate. I don't know if that was something we were replacing. That's our friend Hannah Jubran, which we've had mm -hmm. lots of times. Okay. But yeah, I mean, his work is pretty. Oh, good. You like this one. I love this one. Yeah, I love that one too. Yeah, that's nice. Next. This was cool. almost like a replacement. It just had enough substance. I didn't like the one he picked out. You remember, if it came from the same artist as something else. He it's, these two are the same artist. This yeah. one. Next one, so. And it didn't bother me to have the same artist. If people are going to give us nice pieces of work, I'm not worried about who it is. I just like to look at the work. And I if, think I think I like this one better as well than the one that he had picked. Okay, next. I like the color and dynamics of this one. I didn't like. Uh, I think this was the same artist. I had the one that was. Uh, with the satellite. satellite. Yeah. And I thought that this would just be more noticeable. And I, I just didn't like the one that he picked out. I did. Yeah, like I, I liked, uh, there was, he had several pieces I liked. And I like, I like, yeah, I like the, the more colorful one, even though I really liked the other one as well. But yeah, I mean, I can go either way with that. So. Okay, next. <laughs> it's just a lot of substance. I'm, I'm iffy on this one, but it has there's a lot of substance there. Okay, this is um, which is this one? This is same guy that did the intestines. Yeah, what's his what's his name? Mike Hansel. Hansel. Yeah. Um, had a lot of substance, but I don't. I like I don't both of his. Um, the one that he picked as well. So yeah, I would love to have another one of his. Um, yeah. I like this one as a replacement. I did not like yes. Okay, we're in cold. <laughs> I didn't like the, um, I think his was the one with the legs. Legs, the yeah. Legs. I didn't think that was substantive enough. I think people would really take notice of this. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. This is great. And then is that it? That's it. And that's kind of it. So we've got pictures of all these, and we'll we'll tab them. Why don't we first go through his selections, then maybe go through these, and then if there's any other ones that somebody wants to point out, let's uh, do that. And then if we're at fifteen or 18 or something at the end of the day, we can always chisel those back. 
Okay. Okay, so the first one is this, and I would not have a job if we put this up. <laughs> <laughs> Although we are ranked fifth in the country for the most, the highest percentage of people who go to church. Really? Believe that. Yeah, I just think that, yeah, this would, there'd be too many problems with this one. And I think he, he realized that as well. I actually got uh, emails from the one where he, the guy thought he was the one at uh, the pavilion. They thought he was thought he was carrying a cross, the wood structure. Oh my gosh, really? It was and I had to explain that one out. Uh. So, I don't see any yeses on this one. Next. Um, can, can I interject for a second? Sure. Cheyenne, is it possible, and it may not be because it may just be too technically difficult, as we're saying yes to have to create a new folder so that we can then look at the whole body of ones that we like, even if it's 18 or 20. Yeah, we can try that. Um, I mean, I can maybe do that from where I am if it's in the shared. Um, let me just try to do one in where we are right now. That might be and I'll pull, pull them into that from here. Um, so I'll just say, they may not be final. Okay, so. What about, okay, so what about this? Um, are there, do we have, are there, are there any concerns about this in terms of safety? He was concerned about that. Do you think, um, I, I like this piece. I, I wouldn't want to, unless, you know, people thought there might be a safety issue with it. I think it's a good piece. Um, yeah. It changes from what we usually have. Yeah. Um, I, I thought that what Jason mentioned was possibly the, if we could install it somewhere, if we had a two pad kind of a um, place. So I think that that was his concern a little bit. Public Works can do anything for us. Okay. <laughs> right, Phil? Absolutely. I, I do think, Nan Nancy, and all, that this would best be somewhere where that, that division between the two acts as a kind of frame, a window through which a point of interest is viewed, right? So we have to kind of keep that in mind. Yeah, okay. All right. We all agreed on this one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Can you can you actually copy pieces rather than moving them completely over, so we can still see his selections? I, <laughs> I don't want to complicate things. Uh, fine. Um, he's going to let me copy this. Make a copy down right right there. Oops. Uh oh. Sorry, I gave you too much more work. That's okay. No, it's fine. Now you've got two of them in there, so just move one. It's a little bit harder to copy paste in here, I think, than just standard copy pasting. Unless but they made two. Now you now have two copies in this, in his selection so okay. files. Oh, yeah. See if you can just move one. Gotcha. Okay. Great. All right, good. <laughs> Thank you. We like this one. Yeah. yeah, I thought this was very elegant and I really like her story and, and that she's interested in us. <laughs> like it when yeah. people are interested in us. So I like I like this because it the, you can really see lots of things in that. It looks like a dancer and, and lots of movement in it. I think it's great. I really like this one. Yeah, I liked it too. Is there a full view of it? There is. Um, Did we, is this the same work from that guy? No, it's different. It's a different guy. It's Col oh, what's his name? Nico. Col Colbert. Oh. Colbert. Yeah, it's hard to see it, but I really like this piece. 
Okay, we'll move it. I know. I mean, what do other people think? I like it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like this too. This That's was, a yes. For yeah. Me. That's a nice work with the uh, metals. Yeah. Okay, that's the that's uh, threaded, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we didn't like this one. I really yeah. like this one. I like it too. <laughs> There's not Why did you like it? Why don't you like it, Phil? Um, didn't he give us a piece? Yeah. He, he, he gave us that piece Yeah. In, in the exhibition. I think it's too, uh, it's too thin from my vantage point. Doesn't tell me, doesn't say anything to me. I thought there were better pieces out there. I agree with that. <clears throat> All right. And that. Okay, let's go to the next one. I have this. I do not like this one. Okay, we we decided to replace it with. Um, the I'm tree fine with the other one by him. Yeah. And that's this one. The tree uh, colony, yeah. It's that one, yeah, the trees. This one? Uh, this one here. The one with the blue, the blue. It has the blue on it, yeah. The blue squares. Oh, it's just, uh, before we get to that, let's go, let's keep going through. Okay. We're just not going to do that one. Okay. This one you can't see. I wouldn't do it. I think this one is really is has a really good uh I think kids would really like that one. And on, in addition to what Vanessa said, I think that we a lot of our selections so far have been going towards large scale and that's one way to interact with sculpture, but we also have to have some variety of scale that people also need to be able to interact with these on a little closer to human scale as well. So we have to be conscious of that diversity in our selection. I think this offers a nice kid friendly and smaller scale experience. I agree. I like this one also. Um, I think we can find a spot for it that where it will, uh, where it won't. Okay, move it. Yeah. I like the whimsy of it. It just doesn't shake me visually, but. I think you'll like it in, in person. The, the, the patina, the work on the texture seems to be really good. Okay, that one. Um, I think we all like that one. Does everybody like that one? Yes. I like that one. Okay, we'll move it. I think we all like that one. Yeah. Yes. And also um, the second one. No, we'll look at that again when we come to it. Okay. I did not like that one. We're not that type of construction yet. <laughs> okay, next.
I like this other piece, the blue one. Yeah, okay. Go next. I really like this one. Yeah, I do as well. Okay, put it in. And this is one also we we um. I think he's got another change. piece. That would be better. The flower. Yeah. Uh, Joan needs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go through the ones that I had so that they can see that and we'll see how many we got. Okay. Yeah, that was his 15. Just the ones that he did not have. Is that right. That one, I love this one. Yeah, it's good. Yep. Everybody's good. Yes. Let me make a new folder here. Can you put it in that other folder? No, put it in the final, put it in that final selections folder. Yeah. Just one question as we're doing this. Uh, one of the things that the juror has done is not just vetting the quality of the works, but vetting the resumes of the individuals who submitted things. And I just want to make sure that that is done for people that we're adding to the list, that indeed these are people who have the professional experience and, and, and are proven to be reliable so that we're not just picking these in a vacuum, right? We're, we're, we have to do the work that the juror has also done if we're gonna do this. I think that's something that, that um, you know, we can ask everyone to look at, look at their resumes and make sure that, that, that it's quality work and that it's something that um, will stand up do we know what's the material on that sculpture? No, we can look. You want to look right now at his cover letter and see if he. Go ahead, get it moved. I, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to move it. Does anybody know how to move it to another <laughs> folder? Another drop in the. I don't know how to get it to that other selections folder, so that's why I was making. Oh. Oh no. Um. It's not. Can you just move you the whole. Make the copy folder? and then move to. I did move to, but everything is grayed out. You oh. see that? And then there's only an option to make a new folder. Oh, that's weird. So if anyone knows, please tell me, but otherwise I'm going to just create a new folder here. Okay. The two. Right. Um, Okay, Pilkey, we also, that's one. We want that one. Yeah. Cheyenne, I'm able to do it. So I'm sitting here doing it on my other laptop as we're going. Okay. We're government. Is <laughs> yours not grayed out when you say move to? No. Okay. I don't know why that is then. That's strange because it's. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah. About this one? Yeah. Yeah, I like this one a lot. This reminds me sort of, a, almost of Pilkey's work too. We had one. Who was the owl? Was that Fraley? That was Angelique, yeah. Okay. <coughs> now we're not gonna use, we decided uh, not that. Uh, okay. No, that one. Yeah. Did we not have a lot of that artists already to burn? Yeah, we've had them um, for the last few years. We've had at least one yeah. piece of his. I think it'd be nice to have something different. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, back off that. Okay. How about the cube? But that's just me. And this one, I think we have already of, of another artist. We have one of his other piece. Right. Uh, that we like. Do we like this one better? We'll put move this over and then we can decide whether which one we like the best. Y'all are moving I, faster than I am. 
I think it has some significant formal overlap with the passion flower installation downtown. So I think it's a little monotonous. Oh, that could be, yeah. Because I really like his other piece. This, this, um, Marsh. Memento Rosa. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, we'll that one. That one's different. This one, everybody agrees on on that one. Yeah. yeah. So it'd be favorite. I like this. And that's to replace the um, signal. The, oh, what the lost signal. Yeah. Lost signal. Signal. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, I do like this because it's yeah, it's similar, but it has more color and yeah. Yeah, this is the intestinal fortitude guy that's up near the, the uh, <laughs> McDonald's, <laughs> which I thought was great. <laughs> you guys like this one? I do, yeah. I also like some of his uh, replacement, uh, the alternates, um, the <laughs> fact that there was a, a couple, maybe we should look at those also. Cool. Okay. The one that he ranked. Yeah, we'll pull him up here. Who was it? Cancel. It's this one, the other one that he picked up. But I think this one has a, a lot of dynamism and uh, and presence. Do you like this one better than the other, the tubular one? I think I artist. Yes. I really like this one too. What is it? So what this is one. <laughs> This appears also to be stainless, and that would then put two stainless works in our in our top selection. So we'd have to at least be cognizant of placement that we're not putting two larger scale stainless works in proximity to each other. I think we're picking one or the other. You think you need the tubular one, Michael? That that and the earlier one that has right that's conical and has the circle with the like, needle. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right, the thread. Right. That's okay. that makes two stainless works on larger okay. scale. I think that the the one we just looked at would look pretty good um, nearby the McDonald. Either of those that are a little separated, they stand out. Yeah. Well. So do the one that you put in instead of this one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you can. I really like the Scarlet Entry, which is like that. Um, oh, let me do it. But we have a lot of red already, I think. <laughs> That's... No, but I'm going to make a final selections folder here, just so we know that where we have this, that's the ones we picked. Yeah, and if you get some time, you can actually consolidate all those together. Yeah, I just can't do it easily. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just, I liked the idea of being able to look at them all as a group, yep. you know, in yeah. one kind of. Okay, are we going back to those? I feel like I'm talking a lot. What do you think, Wendy and um, Angeliti? Was there any that you uh, and Kelly, any that you were uh, really enthralled by? Any of those sculptures you? I like the ones that that uh, you selected so far. Good, great. I, I like the replacements that were chosen. I like that flower one instead of the legs um, and some of the other ones, mm -hmm. the invasive species, I was a little hesitant towards, but um, I like the replacement of that tree colony. Okay, there's six. How many we have in his selection? Let's see. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's all of them. Let's see. No, that's 
That's not the final selection. Let's see. Do punch final selections only. Yeah. I think that's what we're in. I'm sure that makes sense because we pulled them. I guess those are. No, that's missing some stuff. Yeah, this is this is one fo final selections folder. You had what? I think three final selections folder that you put. <laughs> there are three. Yeah. Yeah. So. If we can consolidate those and, and get everybody to look at all of those and pick, well, we've got what, 15 slots, Phil? How many have we got there? Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six here. And then but we're not gonna, seven, we're not gonna pick that one, one of those. <sighs> don't count some of these because I don't know why these are in this folder. Move double. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got 15. Nine and six. We yeah. have more than 15. And the, there's one in the alternate. So I guess that 16. makes 16 if you count the alternate. You got the Seven's one with the. You got that, this one. That one. But, Cheyenne, didn't you have the blue? Um, the blue one that was sort of the communication towers. Yeah, in place of the lost signal. Yeah. Yeah, was it not in there? I'm not seeing that one in there. It's in one of those final ones. I don't know where it went or if it just didn't get moved over, but we can add it now. So if we add that one, it's 17. Um, Back out. See what you got on your final. I don't think it's in there, but I'll double check before I move it back. Oh, no, it is there. It's right there. Okay. Sorry. It's in there. Okay. Well, this flower one we, we decided against, right? The marsh. This one? Yeah. Didn't we decide against that one and just use his other, the other, his other piece? Yeah, I think right. not only it's the passion flowers that are already installed mm -hmm. in the in the city, but we also have other floral elements represented in the selected sculpture, and, I, and I'm concerned about repeating an element over and over. So we'll take this one out. Yeah, take that one out. Okay, I think we have 15 now. Is that within our budget, 15? Yeah, you bought the one. Yeah, we're going to buy that one. So you've got an extra couple thousand. If we had to delete one, which of these would you delete? Well, I recall the last round, Nancy, do you remember that we ended up having to make a lot of substitutions because when you went back to the artist, the works were no longer available. Right, yeah. So That's why we're, I, we're trying to rush through this now. And I'm concerned that he said a lot of these were, were placed somewhere like in Chicago and other places, whether the artist can actually get us the piece. I mean, I'd rather have more choices in case somebody says no, that's not available. Yeah. Nobody says no. The first one, if, if nobody says no, which one do you not want to do? You want to not do that building one, the first one? Well, I really like the cube with the tiny figures on it, but I feel like we already have several pieces that are similar to that. And maybe it's just that I'm remembering a piece that that artist has had before. Yeah, we've got one of his now. It's up. It's right by um, Spring Street. Red Mez? Spring Street. Yeah, yeah Red Mez. Yeah. I really think we ought to put that one in place of the one he has right there. You know, I mean, that's where he, all his pieces have been in that spot. <laughs> the one, the ladder with the, yeah, the tall one, which was there first. Oh, yeah, I do remember that one as well. Yeah. I would lose threaded if it were me. 
I mean, isn't the uh, tall stainless steel sculpture with the butterflies in the permanent collection? It yes. really reminds and me. And that's Mary Rudin. That's actually the same. That's. Um, oh, that yeah. is her piece. That's right. Yeah. Okay. It, it kind of reminds me of that one a lot, just in height and just general form, but that's just yeah. me. That one, I'm really... Well, let's let's keep all these and make sure we can get them all. Get because them. it's the only one yeah. that is... Uh, um, I agree with Sherry and there is there some resemblance with other uh, things we have, but it, and all those that we have chosen is one of the few that is really uh, taller and also has a... Um, I think that there's there's a there's a couple place for it that would work extremely well, um, especially when we drive by. That maybe some of the other ones wouldn't be able to um, to accomplish. Um, yeah, because we had that tra traffic circle up by the Walmart on the north side of town. Um, and I, that would be a really great. We need a piece that is like that has some presence, and I think it has more presence than. Um, visually um, and also just in terms of, uh, of um, perspective um, than some of the other ones that are more uh, sculptures that you know that are maybe calling mm -hmm. for for being uh, seen from close by. Okay, we'll put those together unless you want to look at some other ones. Does anybody have any other ones they want us to look at? I think we've got a good a good collection. Good collection here. Yeah. Everybody good to go? Yes. yes. Okay. I am. We're done with this. Okay, great. Thanks. So Cheyenne, you'll you'll um, send out information as soon as you can so we can make sure those these are all available. If if they start coming back, they're not available, then we'll just we'll have to go through and and uh, see, you know, see okay. what alternatives we want to get. So all right, thanks everybody, this was great. Okay, um, let's see, it's quarter after six almost. Let's see if we can move for this pretty fast. Um, the executive committee did meet on Sunday um, and we had, I think our biggest concern was that with the, with the um, little sculptures that were put up that, that the, there's no information that we could see anywhere about, about the artists, the individual artists for each of those, so we we thought we would at least try to do something on uh, on our website uh, that would identify who the who the artists were, and and again um, make sure that uh, ETSU art department is you know has has a mention of being a, a participant with that. Um, but I have seen people going around and looking at them, so um, it's it's been a hit. Um, I have the list of um. Travis, send send the list of all the students and names and photos uh, hey. again uh, to me. Um, so I'll I'll forward it to you, uh, Cheyenne, or whoever. Yeah, I should send it to Cheyenne, right? Yes, please. I have a page ready to go. I just wanted to add their names before I add it to the website, and I've added them to our map as well. Um, Great. Good. Wow. And I, I don't know if I can't remember if Travis made one himself or not. I think he was supposed to, but I don't know if he did at the end. Um, I think it would be nice to have a little something about him somewhere. I'm not sure where we can place that, um, but it's up to you guys. But um, well, we can at least put something up on the website along yeah. with yeah talking about that project. So, um, was there anything else from the executive committee meeting that we need to? discuss. Okay. Um, I think there was a question of who wanted to take on some, some next roles. There was like a couple of projects that were coming up and we were looking at people to uh, to maybe take on those roles too. Uh, right, guys. right. Yep. Not yeah, sure we need to talk about this today. Okay. Yeah, we, yeah, there's some other projects that we need people to take a lead on. Um, so, We'll talk about that as we go along. Um, Long-term planning. Um, anything? Um, I know we, uh, Michael, you and I and David have not met. Uh, we need to meet again. Uh, talk about what we were talking about. Um, outreach and project development, anything to report? 
Not much, no. Okay. Um, traffic control box wraps. We have a schedule for those, the new ones being put up yet. I know we're supposed to wait for the weather, but. Yeah, I think I may um, call that company because we've been waiting on them to kind of tell us when they're going to do it based on the weather, but it's warm enough right now, I think, to, to move forward. So. I'll Great. Okay. Yeah, nothing else. I haven't heard that we've gotten any additional funding, so we haven't started the uh, selection process yet or putting out a call or anything. Still waiting, unless that's changed, Cheyenne. No, it hasn't. Yeah. Yeah, we're waiting for the budget to be finalized for public works. Then we'll, then we'll know, you know how much money we've got actually got to do more properly. Um, the, ba the banners, Founders Park banners. Um, you get, is the committee going to review that? Yes. And then we're going to meet uh, next week. I'll, I'll send an email out um, so we can do the selection for the banners. Great. So you'll have something for us. Can we wait till the next meeting before? So what are we thinking of installing? We had said yeah. April 1st. Yeah. <laughs> Is it possible to wait after the next meeting before that gets put up? Because they're going to have to do some printing and stuff, right? Yeah, I think that um, I'm not sure where we're at with the. Um, we had a couple companies that could print for us. I'm not sure if we made a decision yet on which companies, but. Um, We've gotten quotes back from two companies I'm waiting on. Okay. So that's that's. Uh, yeah. So maybe May 1st, is that what we're thinking now for installation? I mean, once they are printed, I don't yeah. think it needs so much, you know. We meet the April 14th is the next meeting. Yeah, I think that should be yeah. done by, the, by that moment, by the April 14th. To be able to show the committee? Or yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. Great, that would be great, okay. I was thinking that if we have a selection, we can also send an email so everybody can can see that. That'd be great. You know, rather than or put it a, put it up on the Google Drive. Yeah, it's already there. Cheyenne already uh, did that. Oh, good. Okay. So we can do like today, like a smaller selection, maybe, and then people can just uh, see what we have. And I don't know if you got my email, but I did end up going back in and separating them by the age groups. By right, so thank you so much. That's super helpful. So we know which one it's a lot easier for people to go through. Okay. Um, any any discussion for murals? We're we're doing we're doing a lot. <laughs> we have our three finalists for Roan, and they're doing presentations on March twenty sixth. So that's happening, and then Cheyenne and I are working behind the scenes on the other projects. So. Will that, will that be, uh, uh, um, their presentations, will that be over Zoom? It will be, yes. And, okay, so we'll get information about when that's all gonna be. So we um, can... Well, typically we haven't, we haven't opened it up beyond the selection committee. I mean, well, you can come if you want to. I thought, I thought the presentation, we have done that with presentations. Did we make the presentations just open last time, Cheyenne? I didn't think so. To the committee, I think. Okay, well. I remember getting you know getting notified about yeah. those. I think you probably had anybody wanted to. Attend. Yeah, I mean, if you, um, Cheyenne's going to do a Zoom, set up a Zoom, and so we can. We'll let know. Okay. If, yeah. Yeah. Let us know if anyone's interested to be able to sit in on that. That'd be great. Um. Okay. Uh, quote walk. I guess we're still. Got a few coming in for that, Phil. Is that right? Uh, we've got the 10 quotes, and I just have to get with um, Andy to see where to put them. Oh, okay. I've got them right here, kind of like the one that uh, was presented. Yeah, Jolities. But I can read them if you want. Uh, I don't know. Do we want to take the time to read them all? No. No. <laughs> Maybe post those up to also on the Google Drive. I yep. can. Right. Okay. 
Um, animal sculptures are up and people are actually looking at them. And like I said before, we, you know, we want to make sure that everyone gets credit for the work that they've done on those. Um, anything else on the animal sculptures? Um, not really, except that I, th I think it's going around a lot. So it's, it would be, there's, we, we should really bank on that to, to get some visibility with Johnson City Public Committee um, and uh, Public Art Committee because there's like people tagging uh, this all the time. So we should just make sure that maybe if you have friends that are tagging things, uh, just make a comment and and tag it back to us or something like this on, on their Facebook or, or their Instagram, that'd be very nice. Um, it's been a little, um, you know, I think underused uh, so far, Sarah is laughing. Uh, but uh, but I think it's it's working great. Um, I hope we can do more with the, with the library and those collaboration like this. It's, it's yeah. working well. that, that really worked well, was, yeah. And that's the point of public art is that it's just really, you know, involving many people and many trades. Um, all right, gallery on the square. That's one of the ones that we, we need someone to take a lead on. Um, and it's a matter of, you know, doing uh, probably a very local call. Uh, ETSU uh, through Cher Conet has, has um, uh, said that they would do the printing for us. Um, the, the frames, most of them can be reused if we get, you know, we, we should probably, with the calls, send out the dimensions of things, of the frames, uh, but we do need someone to, to take that on, to chair that committee. Um, yeah, so. me, how do you feel about doing that? You know a lot of local artists and you, you support them often with your, uh, on, on West Walnut, do you, how do you feel about maybe uh, being the juror for that? And yeah, I can try it. I think you'd be great there. Okay. And Kelly, um, there's no reason why you can't pull in um, some other um, some other folks from the arts community uh, to help you. Um, we okay. mentioned maybe Jocelyn Matthews, um, but there's if there's anyone else that you feel like you know you could work with on that, that would be terrific to pull in. Okay. Some other you know, some non-committee members into that. Cheyenne, do you know off the top of your head how many? frames there are? Is it 11? I don't. I'm sorry. I have to look. Yeah. I was just going to let to let them know how many works were kind of. But we can get, we, we have a list of frames and dimensions, don't we, Cheyenne? I'm sure we do. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, Kelly, if you would work with Cheyenne and, and um, you know, figure out how, how the, I mean, I'm sure there are other people on this committee also that can help you put together a call. Um, sure. So yeah, so that'd be terrific. Um, okay. We want to try to, I don't know, what time frame are we looking at, folks? Um, maybe by midsummer or July to try to get all of it replaced? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Sounds great. All right. Thanks, Kelly. That's great. You're very welcome. Um, Majestic Park is kind of on hold, I think. Is that right, Phil? Yeah, we don't have any money, so we're kind of waiting for the budget to shake out to see what we can and can't do. And then there's got to be a discussion about what, how you want to spend money, but I don't know how much it is. Okay. To set a path forward. Um, all right, and King Commons, the fencing is... It's, uh, it's on its way. Um, Fiol uh, approved some of the design. Uh, and now, uh, I mean, there's two things that's going on at the same time is like the finishing of the design, the back and forth with that, uh, the technicality with just like how to, which company is going to laser cut that or not. Or so the, the budget is so that um, it's going out for bid. So I believe Jeremy. Um, from Public Works sent out the uh, the, the request for bids uh, this week, so we're just waiting on that. And uh, but everything is going well. It's been great to work with everybody. It's going to be a great addition. I'm yeah. really excited. Yeah. And the park is great. Please. Yeah, the park is gorgeous. Lots of people are using the park. It's really yeah. it's exciting. Yeah. It's All a right. good good project. And I think you know, I don't know. I, I um I know. My feeling is is to write write a letter to 
maybe to Pete Peterson and say, you know, this was a great, great project that the city got behind. Um, I think that, you know, I don't know how people feel about that, but to, you know, I think, you know, if we can stroke, <laughs> stroke other people in, in the city, stuff like this happening, um, it may be worthwhile for us. A public letter? letter? Mm -hmm. A public letter on our Facebook? Yeah, public, yeah, letter to the editor or, or yeah, something like that would be great, I think. I think a letter to the editor and recognize the sesquicentennial committee that was behind that, that would be great. Okay, good. Yeah. Maybe both. <laughs> five by five. Five by five. So Cheyenne and I met last Wednesday, the third in the in the uh, late morning, uh, initially to discuss how we were going to navigate logistical issues with doing an online five by five, but circumstances have changed for now the city. Um, Phil and others uh, informing us that uh, there are kind of small limited scale outdoor events that the city will permit to take place this summer. So we are actually going to proceed with planning the first ever outdoor five by five to occur same date, same time as usual, first Friday, August 6th. Uh, and we have um, with Cheyenne's uh, help have already reserved the pavilion where the farmer's markets usually take place to be the venue there. So we will have at least a covered space at least roofed in uh, in in the unlikely i hope uh, event of inclement weather uh and uh, cheyenne will help me with rentals things like movable walls right all the new logistical questions that moving this outdoors bring with it but we're going to move forward with an in-person um, event at the pavilion and i'm also going to try to enlist as i tried last year before the pandemic to organize a restaurant night uh, to coincide with this with portions of proceeds from signature dishes or a selected menu item to come back to us to hopefully defray some of the additional costs that doing this outdoors is actually going to incur uh, for us. So um, that and a live, live music, which I'm gonna try to approach ETSU to get um, a jazz band or something like that to provide a little ambiance. So uh, we're gonna come back. Uh, we'll see how it, how it goes, um, but I'm excited to do something in person and, and to change up the format a bit. Great. Yeah, we were, we, that was one of the things we talked about also at the executive committee was, um, was yeah. how the display, how this was going to occur, um, because that, that can act like a wind tunnel at some time, sometimes, depending on the weather. So we just have to, you know, take, keep that in mind. So what kinds of conditions that will all be under, but yeah, that sounds great. And, and Michael, just to let you know, I did contact the company and they do not rent walls. So I talked to the executive committee about other places we might find those or borrow them. So we'll discuss that later. We'll work it out. We got a lot of uh, resourceful people in this group. I, I'm, I'm confident we'll, we'll come up with a solution, but good to know, Cheyenne. Well, you know, I wonder there's a, maybe another place where we could do that and it would be um, in the breezeway. Because we could maybe potentially put panels on the temporarily on the walls, and you know, and maybe use that. It's a, it's a beautiful space now, and that that's a that's a breezeway. So, you know, I always love it. <laughs> really, <laughs> the only problem with that, of course, is it's not sheltered. But right, that was my my big thing is that the pavilion offers some measure of protection from from rain or any other kind of which hopefully in august what we know you know we can't control the weather yeah. um and the other thing the pavilion has i think a little bit maybe maybe less i don't know about the square footage we're still in the pandemic right so i'm also thinking about flow of traffic and how we can get maximized attendance without creating a super spreader event all right hopefully by then we'll have no one has spread the virus of art no <laughs> All right, Art Struck. So I also met with Cheyenne and talked about the pavilion. And Are we not seeing a, a trend here that like Cheyenne, yeah. only one Cheyenne? <laughs> yeah, I am seeing a trend. Um, and uh, yeah. the city uh, allowing smaller, smaller events to happen. And so we discussed possibly doing it, even though last month I thought we weren't. Um, and so it looks like we're going to start planning it. 
and moving forward with, with um, a scaled down version happening at the pavilion. Um, uh, you know, probably not 50 vendors, but um, we'll see what we, what we can come up with. This is all kind of new. Um, and then doing some music. It's gonna be a five by five similar uh, structure, but um, art struck. Great. Yes, moving forward. Yeah, because um, um, there have been arts festivals in the pavilion before, so hopefully that will. Yeah, Insta Instacrafty held it there, and it, that's a good um, a good model to to follow because it really worked out. They had vendors on the in the parking lot also, but that won't happen with art trucks. So they'll all be under the pavilion. Great. Uh, was there anything else? I keep thinking back on my mind there was something else we talked about. Uh, during the executive committee meeting, or that we thought about that, that asphalt initiative thing. Oh you, yeah, um, oh, Cheyenne and I are on it. Okay, that's the grant to write. The <laughs> <laughs> that's a street art one. Are you oh, laughing at me? <laughs> I met with Cheyenne via phone to talk about that. <laughs> Good. Okay. That's to do the street art? Yes, or to do, a, it's not just on, you know, any kind of street, <sighs> asphalty structure. Oh, okay, great. All right. Um, if there's no other business, then uh, let's, let's get Angelady's closing bookend. And if you, Angelady, if you would send those to Nancy Campbell, please. Okay. Uh, include those in the minutes, that'd be great. All right. Art is not what you see, but what you make others see. Hmm. That's a good one, too. <laughs> Who's that? It's Edgar Degas. Oh, I'm saying it right. Yeah. Great. All right. Thank you, everybody. Glad Thank to see you. you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Yep.